Hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm leaving because I'm going to um, going to the uh, post office probably and um, just a couple of errands to do. Um, I've got to mail off some packages to the family, my family. Um, ooh, don't hit the truck, Liz. <laughs> Oh, it feels good to be out. Oh, it feels good. I mean, not that I don't get out. It's just that it's just, I don't know. I just feel good right now. Um, I can't explain why that is, but number one, today is the day that the Lord has made, and I will be glad and rejoice in it. So that's the number one reason. So I'm just thankful today. Thankful Tuesday. Um... I hope you guys are having a great day as well. I just came on to chit chat with you guys a little bit, and um, so I haven't done a car vlog in just a little minute. I want to thank you guys once again. I'm not going to keep saying it because I don't want to get on your nerves, but thank you, those of you who have prayed for me and my family uh, regarding uh, me losing my cousin. So thank you guys. I appreciate it so much. Hope you guys have seen my um, my tablescape. I did a tribute to my cousin recently. And if you have not, I'll link the video, I think up here, to my left, <laughs> to your right when you look at it. But I did a tribute to him. So go check it out if you have not. It's uh, I thought it was really nice. And um, I'm glad that I was able to do that. I'm trying to figure out which way to go into Walmart. Because over here on this side where I live, um, I know where Walmart is, but it just seems like I get confused every time. <laughs> you know, of which way to go in the entrance. They have two entrances and... Um, Sometimes I don't know where to go. You know, that's a mess. Well, I'm sure it's hot where you guys are today. It's supposed to be here. Um, uh, I forgot what it's supposed to be, but in triple digits, that's hot. So, But that's nothing new for us. But the bad thing about triple digits where I live, I live in the desert. Now... <laughs> What am I doing here in the desert? That's what I ask myself many times. Why did I decide to move here? I guess because I didn't know what I was doing. When my daughter was a little girl, I wanted to move. I'm originally from LA and lived there, born and raised there, and I had had enough of LA. So <clears throat> I wanted a change and that's why well, that's not well. That's why I moved, but I didn't know I was going to end up here in the desert where I have family here. Oh, I thought that was a parking space. Oh goodness, I'm gonna have to walk, walk, walk. Oh man, I, I don't feel like walking too much today, and I'll get into that in a few minutes if I don't forget. Um, but moving up here, of course, I said I have family here. Ooh, be careful, Liz. Oh boy. Um. have family here my mother she moved up here uh, there's a parking right there she moved up here uh, with her husband at the time and bought a house and um, I decided to just come on and move up here as well because I wanted to get away from all of the the smog all of the um, just the congestion of LA. If you know anything about Los Angeles, ugh, tired of it. Okay, good. I found me a parking space. Thank you, Lord. Okay, I'm gonna stand right here and park until he comes out because I want the space. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> so much confusion going on. You get three people in their cars and they're about to come out. Looks like it. 
and I'm waiting so I do believe I made a terrible mistake moving up here because of that and when it gets cold up here it's real bad um, my first year let me just tell you real quick my first year when I moved up here in 97 oh my gosh it was so cold during the winter I didn't move up here in winter I moved up in the summer but when we experienced the first winter oh my gosh I'm sitting at a bus stop at a park and ride because my job I had to commute so I was I was sitting there are you coming out man or what what's the problem I was sitting there at the bus stop waiting for a ride and I literally froze my tushies off galore I thought to myself you know what I'm moving back to LA <laughs> I kid you not, I thought I was going to move back to L.A. because it was that bad. I guess I'll, I was going to bag in, but decided not to. But anyway, yeah, I froze real bad. But anyway, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I've gotten comfortable. But anyway, I'm going to see you guys in just a few minutes and then I'll talk about my foot pain. Okay, I'm back. I just stopped in there real quick. I was going to show you guys what I bought. Well, I guess I can show you a couple of things. The other thing that I bought is in the back. In the back seat. I forgot to bring it up here. It's just some mailing envelopes here. I just got two of these. And um, something else in the back. I'll show it to you. But anyway, let me go ahead and talk to you about um, what's been going on. Um, kind of in a hurry, so I'm trying to hurry up and get to the post office. Um, not before they close, but before um, Sam and Aaron, they have to run an errand. And I want to make sure I'm back, because I told my husband that I would be back in time for him to go do what he has to do and I will so if the post office line is long in any type of way and it's prolonging me then I'll just have to leave and come back and do my errand tomorrow I am done with physical therapy I finished uh, last week I think last Friday was my last day and um, the heel pain is better to a point I'm not having any pain in the morning when I wake up you know when I first step out of the bed there's no pain there um, but I am having pain like if I stand up on my feet too long or walking you know up on my feet too long like walking in the grocery store shopping and stuff like that then at that point my feet start to hurt bad sometimes it's just one of the heels and sometimes it's both of them but at that point I really need that scooter you know the scooter that <laughs> people sit in um, yeah I do have a handicap so I am I have been deemed um, handicapped so um, I just don't want to sit in those things because it's embarrassing you know riding along in the stores with that and I wouldn't do it unless it was absolutely necessary but even when it is necessary, guys, I don't get in those things. You know, I have a cane <laughs> I don't use, I guess, because I'm, I'm just too embarrassed. I just don't, I try to just limp and do what I have to do. Sometimes my husband will hold me or something like that for some support. I just don't like to, to um, use those things. I don't know. I'm just one of those kind that just don't. So I would say it is getting better. The podiatrist told me that um, she said there was some bone spur in the heel, both heels, I guess. And, um, you know, I'm not claiming anything, but, you know, it is what it is. But I just have to just keep doing the exercises that the physical therapy told me to do, which I'm doing. I try not to miss a day, but if I do, it's just no more than one day. And if I think of the stretches, I'll do them without the band. But they gave me this 
yellow and red band. It's like a rubber band type band. It looks like a balloon material and it stretches. It really stretches. And I think I showed you guys some of the exercises in a previous video that I uh, shared. And it had a few of those exercises. She said I don't have plantar fasciitis, but she said I might have had it. But I don't now, so. Overall, it's better. But what she did was she gave me an injection. <laughs> Wait, let me tell you about that injection, okay? And, yeah, I was actually performing, okay? I was very nervous, and I told her, I said, oh, doctor, I don't know about this. I don't know, and she was, she was really nice. She said, trust me, trust me, you trust me? I said, uh, I don't know. I'm not thinking about no trust. I'm thinking about that needle and the pain. So it's not about trust. It's about can you guarantee me I'm not going to feel any pain. And she told me. She said, I guarantee it will not hurt. It won't hurt. She goes, trust me. Trust me. And I just said, okay. So she tried to talk to me. She tried to get me to talk so that it will be off my mind. But that doesn't help me. First, she sprayed it with this numbing cold spray. It's very, 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 very like a freezing type of cold feeling. And I just felt just a twinge of the needle, but it didn't hurt. She was right, but I was like, like, whoo, whoo, oh, 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 <laughs> I was doing all that because I was so nervous. And I told her, I said, excuse me, doctor, I'm just nervous. That's all, okay? So you've got to deal with my holler. But before she, me go back, before she gave me the injection, you know, doctors have to, they have to touch and feel where the pain is. They have to squeeze it. She squeezed my heel and I hollered. I was like, oh, I said, ow, 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 you know, like that. Oh, it hurt so bad. After I finished reacting, she goes, see, it wasn't that bad. I'm thinking to myself, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one receiving this, this needle in your heel. Mm. I have another appointment tomorrow, and I hope she does not suggest that she gives me another one. This virus situation. I just want to talk about it, about how I feel about it. Sometimes I get frustrated because the news constantly feeding bad news, you know, more cases, people dying. Well, you know what? I don't listen to the news that much when it comes to talking about that. Yes, I have compassion about people dying and I'm very sorry about it, but I don't want to keep hearing that negativity. Um, let me see turn here. I don't want to keep hearing that because I'm trying and doing my best, you know, not to let fear get in. I can't afford to have fear and I'm not fearful. I don't feel fearful, but I don't want it to creep in. You constantly hearing bad news like that. Sometimes it can creep in. You can try if you let it. Oh no, I came the wrong way. There's a school right here. My goodness. Oh man. Let me go around. Good gosh, this is terrible, guys. I'll get back to what I'm saying, but I'm in the school zone, and these parents, it's a long line on this street, a major street, and thankfully, I was able to follow this other car. Oh, my gosh, and get around. Oh, thank God, I don't have no little ones in school anymore. I am so thankful. The news, the way they describe you know, hospitalizations and deaths and stuff like that. It seems like it's a hype. And it's, it's kind of like what my son said. My son says this. I've had other people say the same thing What I'm about to tell you. They will show you the worst case scenarios. Um, they'll show you all the people who might have died or something like that. And they keep showing those pictures like that. You know, of the hospitalization. They're showing you all that bad stuff. I guess to throw fear at you, you know, it's hype, I guess, because they want you to get that vaccine. Do I feel that people should get the vaccine? I do to a point, if, even though it's your it's your choice not to get it, if you don't want to, me and my husband, we have, we have received it, got the two shots, and I was talking to one of my cousins, and <laughs> he says, see, people in my family call me Lizzie, some of them. He says, Lizzie, do you know what they put in that stuff? And I, I said, don't tell me anything. I don't want to hear about it. He said, okay, okay, okay. I don't want to know about what they put in there. 
I don't care what they put in there. I'm going to trust God no matter what. I got the vaccine and I'm going to trust him, period. Aaron, he'll come in and say to me and his dad, oh, you know, they said this, blah, blah, blah. Oh, they, I said, I'll stop him, right? I said, no, I don't want to hear that. Don't tell me anything. If I don't think, only thing I want to hear is something positive, okay? Now, I will get the information that I need, you know, that we need to hear, but as far as Oh, they say that the cases are climbing or, you know, so many people have died. That kind of stuff is what I'm talking about. I don't want to hear that. But I'm at the post office now, so... Okay, I am back. That only took a few minutes. But you know what? Before I get back to the mask... Well, no, let me stay on track. <laughs> I have a lot to talk about, and I probably won't get a chance to talk about it too much. And I just use this already here I am doing it again um, I don't have a problem wearing a mask but I'm you know I feel probably like most of you you're tired of wearing these things are you guys tired of wearing it comment down below and let me know I just want to let's have a, a conversation a dialogue a good one nice one yeah I'm tired of it and hubby had to bring my mask you know from inside the house because I forgot it. Like, oh yeah, I ordered some masks from Walmart on their website. It's a box of um, <clears throat> box of 50, I think, and they're disposable, and um, that will help. For like, if we, we forget. Okay, I wanted to show you the other things that I picked up. Just a couple of things. This little um, expanding file. Too cute. And what it is, is it's a little small miniature file. Let's say you're going to the bank, you're going here and there, and you want to, um, you know, have some place to put all your papers. So it's like a file folder, a miniature file folder. I think this is so cute. It has all of the different colorful tabs there and all of the different um, dividers. And this would be great, especially when you're going to the bank. You know, you want to put some money in here or some receipts and this is like a um you guys see it file folder you know like with the handle too cute and this black and white too cute and what i like about it is this little button here the button opens it up and um let me show you if i can inside of it I needed another one because the one I have at home is so hard to open up. I mean, it's like we have to try to squeeze the sides of it, push it through, and with these nails, it's just not going to work. So I bought this, and it has all the files in here. See? A lot of files. Too cute. But anyway, the mask, like I said, I'm just tired of wearing it. And, um, you know, I think there's a proper way to wear a mask, but we all should know how to wear a mask. You're supposed to have it over your nose and your mouth. But why do people go into businesses and they have it halfway down? I'm thinking to myself, well, what's the purpose of you wearing it? If you're going to not wear it correctly, you might as well not even wear it. I know we don't want to wear it. I don't want to wear it either, but I'm going to wear my mask the right way. It's over my nose as much as possible. I bought Cubby a new mask. I bought myself a new mask because uh, one of the masks that I had, I had to throw away. I had to throw it away because I cut the little thing that goes around the ear. I was trying to cut it and tie it and make it tighter because it was too loose. Way go around your ear and the way I didn't like that, so I ruined it. <laughs> I could not, I tried to tighten a little knot, and then when I put it around my ear, it was too tight, it wouldn't even go around. I thought, Oh no, I just messed the thing up, so I threw it away and bought another one. And it's a bling one, so you guys will see that one day. It's nothing, nothing spectacular, it's black with um, some silver bling on there because you know, I am a bling girl. Also, me and Hubby were just <laughs> randomly talking, chit-chatting about moving. You know, it would be nice to move out of state. Um, 
but do I really want to move out of California? It would be nice to a point, but I don't know because my mother is here, my daughter is here, and I don't think they're going to be moving in the same state that if I were to move, they probably wouldn't want to go there. So I don't know if I want to move, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure if we're actually ready to do that. It's just a thought, you know, because California is very expensive. So don't come out, don't live in California, I'm, I'm just saying it. You do what you want to do, but mm, we're dreaming about living somewhere where we get cooler temperatures, where you don't get all that. Now, if we were to move to back east, you know, then you're going to get all this happening and all that. So, I don't know. I just don't know where we should go. <laughs> you know, we're undecided. Just can't figure it out. Wherever you go, you're going to experience something. I know that. Out here in California, we have to experience these terrible earthquakes. And the bad thing about earthquakes, we don't really know when they're going to hit. I don't. When they hit is boom, it hits. But it's like my cousin said, he, which he lives in Florida. He said, well, at least we know when they're coming. And that's a good point. You can prepare for it. I mean, we can prepare for an earthquake to a point, but not that there's really no great preparation except for have all these different supplies you need in case it's an earthquake. But I mean, you're not going to, you don't need to board up your house you know, not that type of preparation. On my way home, I'm trying to think, what am I going to prepare for dinner? Um, it's about 3, 3.14 now, so I usually like to eat dinner around 5, sometimes 4, sometimes 3 o'clock. But the latest that I will eat dinner, and I try not to eat this late, because I like to have my food digest well and I don't like to feel full of stuff when it's time to go to bed. I like to feel pretty much empty and that's no later than six or seven. To me that's late. Uh, if I have to eat that late I'm I'm pretty much fussing at that time. Because I don't like to go out to dinner. I want to go out, eat, enjoy the food and not eat late. But I probably probably will give Aaron a pizza and a salad. He wants me to make some more enchiladas. He loves my enchiladas. Turkey enchiladas. And I made them what, last week or the week before. And hubby liked them. Aaron liked them. I didn't eat any because, you know, I don't eat meat. So, I did make me a somewhat of a burrito out of beans that I eat. <laughs> that didn't taste all that. That wasn't all that good. And hubby, I may give him... He probably wants an entree. Just throw it in real quick. I want to show you guys my Bath and Body Works um, that I bought recently. Okay, it's just two bottles of nice body spray. And this is the Cash Cashmere Glow. And I haven't had this fragrance in a long time. Let me find the top because I don't know where it is. It better be in this box. Otherwise... Bath and Body Works, you're going to owe me some tops. Oops, falling out. Okay, this one has the tops. I'm going to find the other one. This is the um, Japanese Cherry Blossom. This is one of my old-time favorites. I love the bottle. It's so pretty and red. It's just so nice, and this smells so, so good. So, yes, Japanese Japanese. Oh, I can't say it. Japanese cherry blossom. Let me see if I can find this top. That'd be in here now. Okay, here it is. <laughs> okay, there it is. That's all I wanted to show you guys. And that's all I picked up. They're on sale. They're like $4.99. And lastly, a big shout out to my daughter Angela for getting her master's degree in science and human factors with distinction. I am so, so proud of her.